<laughs> you ready for this? Yeah, I'm First ready. and foremost, cheers yeah, from Bali. Cheers. I find a problem that we've been in Bali for almost 24 hours now. We have not had a bintang. That's a problem. I kind of ditched bintang, and once I found out it was 2%, Holy I'm kind of on the 1945. <laughs> Easy over there. All our beer is natural. We don't use any organics. Very awesome. Awesome. I love you. Don't use any yeah. I was just telling him I'm, I'm on the 1945. Hey, it might change. Now, it just, yeah. It's tough to say 1945, boys. Bintang boys sounds a lot better. Bintang boys. Yeah. <laughs> sounds a lot better. Bintang boys. Start with... Lay some ground rules around right, right now, okay? Because okay. there's some there's some rules this cast. So one of which is you can swear. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, let's let it rip. Two, alcohol is allowed. Okay. Got the 1945s. Okay. And uh, yeah, three Cheers. is you can't be super loud right now because it is the silent holiday for um, all Hindu um, which we didn't countries. Know. Yeah, we which we didn't know. know. So we're locked down currently. We cannot leave our hotel here in Bali. Did any of you guys know that? No? Nope. Mark the date, March 17th. Don't visit Bali, otherwise yeah, you, you'll be you can, stuck here. Be. This is a raw, uncut version of what we're like. I mean, we're, in our vlogs, we're who we are. Don't get that mistaken. But this is an opportunity for you guys to learn, um, you know, who John V is on a different level, who Sam Sobey is. By the way, this is uh, Samuel Sobiak. Spilled with how many M's? Uh, <laughs> just, just one M, just but one we'll M. get to that later. Yeah, we'll get to that later. This is the, the, the powerhouse, the workforce behind yeah. a lot of Peric's new videos. Peric for the longest time has been doing a lot of self-vlogging, which I'm starting to uh, step away from. I'd love to have my own cameraman, but um, when did you start working? First of all, when did you start filming for Peric? When did this all start? Let's start from the uh, beginning. From the beginning. I feel like it's like close to six months, but five months ago, really. October, October-ish, yeah. So it started in 2017. Yeah, 2017, October. It's kind of when he first reached out to me, and then I guess it's, it's been kind of crazy after that. Yeah, and, and just a quick little question. Did you expect it to be anything like this when you signed uh, up for this? Yes, no, maybe, I feel like. <laughs> I mean, you're in like, freaking Bali right now. You expect to be yeah. filming some angler who goes and fishes like ponds and lakes, but yeah, you're yeah, in yeah. Bali right now. It was, I mean, like, it's obviously, like, I, I watched the videos beforehand of, of like, you and Peric and, and some of Flair and some yeah. of Rob, so, like, I, I realized you guys, like, traveled and, like, went places, but I guess, right, like, right. for the most part, I feel like it'd be, like, maybe in Illinois. Yeah. Right? But really not. not no. To, to, this, to this degree, you've been to, so far, you've been to New Zealand with Peric. Yeah. You've been to, now this is Bali, and you guys are about to go to Bangkok, and this video yeah. will be posted after Bangkok, so no no spoilers like that. But you guys... And a variety of other states, and Mexico. Yeah, I mean, we're talking you in Mexico and Canada. And Canada, so if you want to count those two that are sandwich, sandwiched above uh, United States, above and below. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's a lot of traveling for within a six-month period of time filming for this dude who you met six months ago, that's crazy. Really, the reason why I'm doing this cast is not only to give you guys an opportunity to learn more about what goes on behind the scenes, but also to learn about Sobe, because you're in Peric's videos, obviously, but yeah. you know, no one really has gotten a chance to like sit down and hear your story and what goes on um, when you were shooting these videos. I mean, because you're buying that camera, it's not like yeah, you can just exactly. like this. Uh, so I got some questions to ask you. Okay. I, I will say Ooh. I'm prepared for this. Just answer these as, as honestly as possible. Okay. And just let it be known, like, like I don't know what he's going to ask me. Because, like, he yeah, texted me a couple days ago, like, questions. I got some questions cooked up. And I was like, what does that mean? He's like, you'll be fine. Yeah. First and foremost, when you have someone you've never never met before or, like, a family member, like, a distant relative ask you, what do you do for a living? What do you tell them? <sighs> That's honestly a super good question. Just, like, going back for for Thanksgiving and, and, I guess, like, Christmas and stuff, people are like, what are you doing? Like, like are you, right. A, are you in college still? B, yeah. like, what the heck are you doing? Yeah. So I'm like, ah... Uh, like, you, have you guys ever seen YouTube? They're like, oh, well, yeah. You guys start ground level, right? Yeah, yeah, start ground level. Like, yeah, we've seen YouTube. And I was like, well, I kind of I kind of picked up this gig, like, filming full-time with, with, like, a YouTuber. And they're like, what is a YouTuber? And I was like, someone who, like, oh, shit. I guess, like, creates videos, like, you know, pretty consistently, like, yeah. consistent content. And they're like, okay, like, where do you fall in? And I guess, like, well, I'm, I'm filming. Like, I'm the one filming. Behind the camera. And I guess that, that leads to a whole bunch of other questions, like, how is that possible and stuff like that. But I guess, like, that's where I go off of, or I just kind of try to avoid the question. And bring it back like, to them. Yeah. So do you just show them the videos or what? Like, I mean, you just I, say you're like a videographer for a YouTuber. Yeah. Or in, in a simple sense, you or just say you're a videographer. Or I just say like I'm a videographer, like I yeah. film fishing. And, yeah. and, and when I say that to like older family members, they're like, that's cool. And then right. like, I don't, Some, I don't proceed to show them the videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the reason why I ask because it's hard for, I guess, like, I think all of us as like YouTubers to say like, you know, we're on YouTube because it's, it's, it's something that people don't get yet. So yeah. to say you're filming for a YouTuber, while it isn't anything less than what I do or what Rob does or what Flair does, it's just hard to explain. And yeah. I, I don't know. That's something I've always had difficulties doing, but that, yeah, that's, 
I guess this is a good way to do it. Just completely avoid the question. That's Yeah, just curveball it. Yep. All right, so I said I wasn't going to get on Peric's case or anything like that. But what I got to ask you, what is the hardest part about filming with Peric? Oh. Without completely just shitting on the kid. Oh, this is Peric. hard right now because, yeah. because He's Peric, right there. Peric is behind the, the boss right man off, right? right? So I'm going to put my, my glasses on just so he doesn't see my eyes. No, uh... <laughs> Honestly, like honestly, like what's what like I gotta seriously? What is the it. hardest thing about other than you know like the actual filming aspect of it? Like just on a day-to-day -day basis, what's the hardest thing that you have to deal with when roaming around with this kid? Um, he's he's fast. Like okay, here's here's the deal. This is this is for sure the hardest part about it. Okay. Like the dude is fast. Like he's on the move. He's going, 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 going. Oh, I know. So like like if I have an idea in my head, like let's set up or talk about this or like something important is like going on where I'm like, yo, you should talk about this. He's like, yo, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. I'm gonna make this cast. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go the yeah. blah blah blah. So I'm like, I feel like I'm always like, I'm like always sprinting with the camera trying to hold it steady while he's just like going, going, going. So it's definitely like it's a speed game where like I <laughs> try to film what I can. When I can, when he's like, when he's on the low. He's got ADD. <laughs> he's he's fast. Sam's like, last night we were like, we arrived super late uh, from Korea to Bali, and Sam's like, all right, like, you know, like tie everything together, like let us know where you're at. Parrot turns, okay, it's like, all right, we're in Bali, and like turns, and keeps walking <laughs> that's off. Perfect example. And Sam's like, perfect example. that's it, like that's all you're gonna say. <laughs> so so it's just the keeping up portion, yeah. like standing your toes with someone who's a, who's moving a million miles per minute. Exactly, that's, that's the most difficult. Yes, part. and you can probably attest to that too. You know him longer than me. Yeah, I don't phone for the guy, and it's. <laughs> Like, he, you know, it's, 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 it's cappuccino without cappuccino. It just keeps exactly. your freaking toes. Here's a question I feel like I know the answer to, but I'm just going to, I'm going to ask it for yeah. a dig, just a quick dig. You do get a chance to fish yeah. when you're filming with it. Yeah. So oftentimes, who is the individual out of you and Peric that usually catches the larger fish? Oh gosh. I put my glasses on. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like I'm only thinking of honestly two examples. It's a little bit of a stretch, but there's like nine examples if you want that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Right. okay. No, like, dude, Peric, Peric grinds. Like, Peric is a fisherman, yeah. first and foremost. Like, and I, I think that's the reason, like, he hired a cameraman in the first place, because, like, Peric truly enjoys fishing. Mm -hmm. And, like, like he is always on the go. He wants to make the next yeah. cast. Like, he wants, like, no last cast. Like, he's, he wants there's to There's no lack there. of drive. No, exactly. Yeah. So, like, but at the same time, it, it seems like, like, we'll shoot enough to, to the point where, like, Peric's caught some really good fish. We have a video. And then, then I'll jump in the game. Or, like, I mean, it's still fishing. Like, we're trying to break down a pattern. We're yeah, trying to yeah, do yeah. something, like, you know, trying to get the bites. And, and I'll kind of grab the rod, or like we'll do some stuff, and, and I'll just kind of hook up with, with, with the monster. And whether that the two, be... the two examples I can think of, the one of which I wasn't there for, it was yeah. the first time you were filming with him. It was yeah. like that what, 42, 46 inch red. How big was that? Yeah, I think 46 inch Bold red. Bold red. And then red. in Mexico, you caught your nine pounder. Yeah. Really? Well, yeah, Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Walleyes. Uh, uh, that's yeah. my biggest fear of having Louisiana. a cameraman. Yeah. Letting him fish. Yeah. Because then I know I have to, I have to, I have to video. Graph, you're, you usually do video yeah. with this fish, right? Yeah, I never not. Yeah, so the it's like that's not been it's it's fine. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's yeah. just but internally, it's just like oh shit. Yeah, and like I can definitely see like internally, he's just like, yeah. damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Which you wish I'm the same way too. Like if, if I was like, it's like if you're fishing and you're fishing with a buddy and your buddy like because we're buddies, we're like we're like yeah. freaking best yeah. buddies. Yeah. So when your best buddy catches a bigger fish than you, you're just like awesome. But at the same time, you're like it's that internal salt factor. Dang it, yeah. yeah. GT is smart by words. I know, like he's gonna get like, the biggest one of the trip. <laughs> he's got good juju. I don't know what to say. I good juju. All right, here's here's a good one. So you have to f marry kill these three people. Oh, um, ready? Yes. Bill Dance. Oh. Hank Parker. Al Linder. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would, I would, uh, what? all right, I'd marry Al, like, okay. I'm from Minnesota, That's, I guess that would, yeah. like, I feel like I, I'd get a house with him, we'd live together, we'd fish Brainerd Lakes area, we would, it'd be unbelievable, we, he, he would show me secret spots that only a married couple would share, so I'd definitely, I'd go with Al, <laughs> I would, uh, I love how serious you're being right Absolutely, now. this is a serious question, <laughs> serious. these are serious people. Okay, you would marry Al. Yeah, I'd marry Al. Okay, so you have to, you have to, Kill either Bill Dance or uh, Hank Parker. <laughs> I would, Bill Dance doesn't watch YouTube, so you're in the, you're right. in the safe zone. All right, right Bill now. Dance, I'm so sorry, but I would I would f Bill Dance right here, just to be like I'd f Bill Dance. Okay. Yeah. Yes. If you had to, I, yeah, I, I, I feel present, like yeah. yes, because then people would be like, Yo, do you do you know Bill Dance? I'd be like, Yes, I. <laughs> <laughs> I put that one away. Uh, and then, yeah, <laughs> kill, kill the last man. Hank Parker. Kill you know Hank Parker? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, making sure. Yeah. Talk about an icebreaker, right? Wow, yeah. Holy <laughs> shit, I should ask someone at the beginning. Wasn't ready for that one. Yeah. Drink some more of that beer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> After that one, you're gonna need some hard alcohol, right? I'll see you in Brainerd, Al. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a decent one I'm actually curious about, just because I don't know anyone else who films 
other than like Scott Martin and, and yeah. his name Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. DJ. So, yeah, DJ. DJ you know, YouTube yeah. is way beyond fishing. It's like yeah. you've got like pranksters, you've got like uh, lifestyle, like vlog dudes. Video. Got, video it, games. Yeah, video games. Started. It's, it's huge. If you weren't filming for Peric, who could you or who would you want to film? Ooh. Who was also a YouTuber? Doesn't matter. It has yeah. to be outside of fishing related. No fishing name. Okay, that's a no good English. question. I think the coolest part, first off, I want to say about filming like like Peric and like I, I get to jump in on some of the filming of the Googing Squad and stuff like right. that, which yeah. isn't necessarily all fishing. A lot of pranks. Yeah. I like pranks. I'm okay. a funny guy. I okay. like to be around that. So like, I feel like I'd, I'd like to film for like either the Milk Boys. Good answer. Or um, which their channel is like shut down right now. Which sucks. Yeah. Save Milk. Yeah. Save um, milk, hashtag save milk. Hashtag save milk. Maybe the milk boys. Or some, That'd be fun. Somewhere else along, along and, and, the prank and like And like what Peric does with what you guys do, you guys feed yeah. off each other energy. They always like film, what is this, 905 shooting? Yeah, 905, 905. Yeah, yeah, they always film it, which is so cool. I hate how like some YouTubers like will completely disregard. Yeah. Like I don't watch FoosyTube, so maybe I'm wrong by saying this, but I feel like that kind of guy like never films or never even talks about who's filming his videos. And here's this guy that's like the... The brain machine, like the the absolute like yeah. mind behind all the edits and, and the filming, is like no regard in that yeah. sense, which is, I think is whack. But no, yeah, I think that's cool with what they do. It's 2018 now. Where does Sam Soviak see himself in 2023? Not necessarily something you want to see yourself in, but like where do you just like where the direction is going now? You know, you're filming, you're on the yeah. social media, like the social media game is it's growing. You're in a good position right now. Where, where do you think? This is gonna take you. Gonna... I don't exactly know where it's gonna take me. I don't exactly know like, like what the end goal is. Yeah. But I, I know like I want to be on the forefront. So like I feel like fishing and filming in general, I feel like I, I'm near the forefront. You know what I mean? Like oh, you, yeah. like you guys oh, are yeah. you guys are doing stuff different. It's not the outdoor channel. It's not the same old same right. old. Like 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 this is the forefront. So I, it doesn't matter whether it's like um YouTube, whether it's the outdoor channel. You just want to be I, in I, that I just, realm. I want to be in the realm of like right. what's happening, what's new, what's right now, and I want to be like, I, I, it's this is exciting. Like filming these guys is like it's real and it, it's exciting, and uh, I, I just don't want to lose the edge of like what's going on and what's new right now. I, feel like I don't want to get caught in the past. I, That's I good. Be right so you, there. you're 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 like happy about the path like you're going. It's Absolutely. not like you're like yeah. you're using this as like a, a stepping stone or like a, a, a you know a ladder to get to some other route. Like this is where you're at. This is where you yeah. go. Exactly. Like, you know, your story in of itself is something where it started as, like, you know, you picked, I'm sure you picked up a camera at what age? I don't know, maybe like 15. 15 years old, you love 15, you love fishing, you love filming, so you combine yeah. the two, and here you are now, you, you gotta connect with Peric, and that's, it's just, it's continuing to grow. How do you get yourself in a position where if you love fishing and filming or one or the other, how do you get yourself in a position to succeed in that, to actually, Make yeah. an occupation, not not to the point where you're making like you know hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars a year, but just yeah. in a position where you can live off of that. What's your best advice? I, I suppose. I feel like well, first off, if you love fishing, you love filming, like you love them both. Uh, like it, it's not about the money. First off, like like right. you're doing what you love. Right. You know what I mean? Like you're you're setting yourself in an occupation, a position where like you want to be. So like you kind of throw that out the window. Obviously, like money's money's an issue, but like at the same time, like if this is where you want to be, this is where you want to be. Yeah. So I guess like. A, be real. Whether you're filming or fishing, like, you're your actual self. Like, John B, like, right now and before this podcast was the same John B that's right here. Do you want to fish? Do you want to film? Do you want to do that for a living? Like, go for it, A, and be persistent at it. And be real. Just totally. continuous to put yourself out continuous. there or what? Yeah, absolutely. So would you suggest, suggest like, like make it small videos and throw them on YouTube? Or, like, how did Peric find you? Was it Instagram? It was Instagram, yeah. And but, it, but, it, but it was through contacts of, like, well, <clears throat> well Peric knew Jay Siemens, and he's... He's a videographer from yeah. Canada, and he did uncut angling and stuff like that. Yep. And and I was good buddies with Jay because I I kind of threw myself out there with Jay once, like asking him some like camera questions, mm -hmm. and then from there on, me and Jay created a relationship. So you network. That's, yeah. That's the yeah. plain network. simple thing. Is Absolutely. You network the network shit totally. out of filming and fishing, yeah. and you got to meet so many different people to the point where you're like, look, I've I've made so many friends and so many connections, like. Something's bound to happen here, and they're all genuine. Exactly, it's not like you're yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, meet this guy so I can get a, a job interview with whoever. But it's like, yeah. you know, you found like-minded people who are in the same industry, and who knows what happens? Like, who knows? Exactly. From, from, like any of us from at this yeah. point on, anything is bound to happen. We, we really set ourselves up. And like always learning, success. like like put yourself in a room where you're you're the least skilled person. So you can like grow off that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, like I wanted to put myself in a situation where like I was talking to Jay, talking to other people, just to like learn from them, grasp from them, grow from them, mm -hmm. and like soon enough, like it turned into a job with AP. Yeah. And then I put myself in another room with people who like are all more skilled at camera work than me, more skilled at YouTube, more skilled in network networking and social media. It was just like I don't know, just like continuing to grow. 
so and, smart. and to grasp like I guess like what other people are doing and like either change it or use it or grow from it I guess I don't know just just put yourself in a situation where, where you're learning that. that's 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 like so that's like some of the best advice I did not expect you to say that but that is honestly some of the best advice yeah anyone could ever just network put yourself out there always put yourself in a position where you want to learn more but uh, hey yeah. man thanks a lot cheers thanks so much for having me in tank boys all right guys thanks for watching let me know if you want to see more podcasts um, something I want to do every time we go on trips, whether it be with new people, like honestly this is something that just allows me to film and create content when you've got days like this where it's a Hindu holiday and you can't go out <laughs> and rip around in mopeds and, and catch fish off the beach. But appreciate the view. Have fun. Anyone you want to give a shout out to or any companies, anything you want to pimp out real quick? No, AP I'm Media. good. Just, just, just pimping out everybody watching this right yeah. now. Like thank you for watching. Yeah. And, and AP. Give a AP shout out to AP Sam. and Sam Dice. Yeah. They're <laughs> behind the camera right now. They're killing it. Cheers guys. Peace. Keep pushing, never stop. <laughs>